Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15. We have some more reports regarding the new features and the changes that are coming to iOS 15. Now, unfortunately, alongside that, we also have some bad news regarding this software update, but we will get into that a bit later. Now, before I get into the video, I just want to thank I had to pro for all these informations that he's giving us to iOS 15. Of course, right now he's our only source to iOS 15 and he's a very reliable source when it comes to Apple products and Apple software. He's very, very reliable. So go ahead, give him a thanks and follow him from the link right down below in the description of the video. Before I start this video, I just want to ask you guys to leave a like as it helps out a lot. All right, the first thing we're talking about is split screen. I know this is a feature a lot of people have been asking Apple for, a lot of people has, have been expecting this feature to come to iOS for years now. Now, according to iHack2 Pro, he gave a reply to someone here asking for split screen, maybe, but probably not on the first beta. So there is a big possibility that split screen will come to iOS as well. Of course, if you have an iPad on iPad OS and earlier when it was iOS, there was split screen. And of course, that's a bigger device and it makes sense. But on the iPhone, I'm not really a huge fan of that. Now we could see that if it comes to iOS 15, I'm pretty sure that will be only on the bigger devices, basically on the iPhone Maxes, maybe on the iPhone Pluses, the 8 Plus and the 7 Plus, but I don't think that will be on smaller devices. And of course, with devices that have landscape support, I believe those are the devices that will also support split screen. Now here I have made some renders like of how it could look like, but again, this is only render that I did. We will have to wait and see for that. Basically, you just slide like a dock here in order to invoke another app, just like you do on the iPad. If you had have an iPad, you know how you do that. You just swipe up the dock and add another app to the split screen. Or maybe if you get a notification, you can drag that and have it on the split screen here. Now here's how two apps could look. Here we have the weather app and then we have Safari right there. Again, this is just a render that I did just to give you a kind of like idea on how this could look on iOS. I don't really see Apple doing this Probably they will on the bigger devices, as I said, but I don't think that will be very effective on the small iPhones. Of course, iPad is a whole nother story and it makes sense, but on the iPhones, I'm not really a big fan of split screen, even though a lot of people have been asking me for it for years. The next thing we're talking about is the new widgets that are coming to iOS 15. Now, according to iHack2 Pro, the widgets on iOS 15 will have new sizes. Now, these are widgets, they are actual widgets that you can add on iOS 14, and I have added them using Widget, which is an awesome app, and of course, all these awesome widgets created by the Widget community. Now, you can see here we have different sizes. A few of these probably will make it to iOS 15, so we have the two by one here. You can see the weather, that's really cool, and we have the one by four here, this also looks really, really good. And we have two smaller ones. I know a lot of people, this is the one by two. A lot of people have been at the two by one. Actually, a lot of people have been asking for this. And of course, this might be one of the options for the new sizes on iOS 15. And we have some more here. So again, we have the one by two there. We have some that are just one by one the size of a usual icon that you get on ios that might be an option as well we will have to wait and see for that and we have the four by two here this is interesting if apple does a size like this it might be very interesting for maybe like an app that has like a feed let's say twitter for example or instagram and with the new reports with the iOS 15 widgets being interactable, that should be very, very interesting. So you can see here different sizes of widgets that are expected to come. And I'm hoping Apple will add them, especially the two by one here. I'm a big fan of that and the one by four also. And this bigger one, as I said, for a few specific apps, this should be really good. And you can see on this one right here, this is from Widget as well. We have all kinds of different batteries right here. And of course, we also have similar 
for the brightness and all the space on the device and all that stuff. So that's again a great example of how Apple could utilize the new sizes on the widgets with iOS 15. Moving on to the bad news and this also from our source iHack2 Pro again a big thanks to him for doing this. He's really amazing with these reports and of course giving us a glimpse into iOS 15. We didn't have any leaks whatsoever until now. Now someone asked if there will be a UI redesign on iOS 15 and that's of course a requirement everyone has for a few years now. We had basically the same flat design on iOS since iOS 7. I know a lot of things like the control centers and all that have been like redesigned and now we have also app library widgets and all that but basically the base of iOS is still exactly the same and there's the bad news he says no just refreshed widgets control center notifications and settings so we will have a redesign of the settings app as well and that would be again really interesting we had basically of course the same design here and the same categories everything the same on the settings app for a few years now and hopefully apple will do something new and see how they will organize the new settings app maybe they will just redesign it or that but we will have to wait and see what they do there but expect the new settings app to come on ios 15 and again he says that there will be a refresh on widgets we talked about that so we are expecting new sizes for the widgets as well as interactable widgets hopefully new control center we talked about that and the notifications on the previous video and several update on the apps so you can expect several stock apps of ios that come preloaded on your iphone to come to become basically to to come updated with iOS 15 and have probably tweaks on their UI and redesign as well. And last but not least, we're talking about the release date of iOS 15. When can you actually expect this update to come to your device? Now, if you're a dev, you can expect this to come on early June. Usually that's the time that Apple holds their WWDC event. This year will be WWDC 2021. And of course you can expect that to happen on the first weeks of June. I expect it to happen on June 1st or the latest June 8th. Now this year, Apple, last year actually Apple pushed it back of course due to the old situation. But this year I expect Apple to be on time and actually do WWDC on the first week of June and then of course give us the first beta to the devs of course of iOS 15. And then you can expect a couple of weeks later, probably around the third week of June, Apple will release the second beta of iOS 15 to the devs and they should release the public beta to the public as well. So of course you will need then to follow a few steps in order to enroll on the public beta, which is again a great opportunity for everyone who wants to try out their software before actually it goes out to the public. And then of course the final release will happen sometime in September. Now the way Apple goes, they release the software a day before they release the new iPhone. They basically a day before they put it on sale or ship it out. So usually they do that on Friday and they release the software on Thursday a day before the iPhones goes on sale. So right here we can see probably around September 23rd or maybe September 30th. Those should be the dates when iOS 15 should come out to the public. So that's basically it for this video guys. This is everything new that we have regarding iOS 15. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully all of these amazing features will come to iOS 15. I'm very sure they will. We have a great source there who is very reliable when it comes to this kind of stuff. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next one.